Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And happy summer. Summer is a great time to work on your business, not just in it, and not just take vacations uh, and not work in your business. Uh, if you don't have a whole team of people or at least a couple of really good virtual assistants that are doing all the things in your business that you're supposed to do, then it's time that you spend some time working on your business rather than just in it. Uh, so this is what I want to tell, talk to you about today. Um, I have a brand new entrepreneur productivity and profitability checklist. It's 35 of the things that I tell my top high-end one-on-one clients and mastermind members uh, what to do and how to do it uh, all the time, because these are the things that are going to move the needle. These are the things that are get you more automated, more delegated, more systematized. These are the things that are going to bring in a lot more leads on a regular basis without spending a lot of time. These are the things that are going to make you look better uh, from the outside looking in, because we always want to position ourselves as that expert or influencer in our industry, especially to the people that have no idea who we are. So we have to design our marketing, our website, our systems for those people who don't know us because the people who do know us and love us already will maybe take the time to look around your website and find the thing they're looking for or reach out and contact you and ask you. But the people that don't know you, the newer leads and prospects, they won't do that. They'll just move on to the next person. So you want to grab this productivity and profitability checklist. It's got 35 things and it's all detailed. Like I'm a step-by-step. -step, so I say, do this, do that. And then you say this, and then you put that here. And this is because of this, and this is why you want that. And that's how it's, so it's a pretty long, uh, it's like 15 pages of a checklist. It's not an easy checklist, but this is the stuff you're going to be implementing over the next couple of years, I guarantee you. And it's stuff that you want to do on a consistent basis. So you might want to just keep it on your desk and say, okay, I have a half an hour to work in my business. What should I work on? And then pick one of those things. So go get that. If you go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash productivity, it's a brand new checklist. You can get it right now. And then you will also get invited to a webinar that I'm doing in July. I have three dates in July. It's the same webinar. It's maximizing your sales systems. So I'm going to be talking to you about these things, right? Especially your website presence and the functionality and then the automation that and the customer journey. So when someone comes to your website or when you're meeting them on social media or even in person, how you're bringing them through the journey in and through your web page. That is what we're going to talk about on this webinar. And it's going to be interactive and there's no replay. You have to pick a date and come live because I have three dates. Like the, one of them has got to work for you unless maybe you're in another country. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not going to get up in the middle of the night to teach this. Sorry about that. But uh, I would love you to join it. Uh, and it's there an hour. Sometimes I go a little over. So I would book 90 minutes for these webinars, <laughs> frankly, because I tend to just go on and on and on. And I want to take questions and I want to give you laser coaching and I want to tell you what to do and spotlight people and look at your website and give you details. I mean, I, I am very hands-on on these. So you definitely want to sign up for that. You can go to jumpstartevents.net jumpstartevents.net and find that webinar and you can pick a date and sign up and just make sure you put it on your calendar with the Zoom link right away so you don't lose it and forget and book something over it. So there's that. And then uh, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. So if you're watching this, um, you know, I'll be back in like five days or something. It's a short vacation to see family up in Oregon and Washington, but um, I'm going to unplug and uh, I do have an amazing assistant, Kim. If you if you contact Kim at jumpstartyourbiznow.com, she can take care of any questions you have. Or if you're looking to make commissions on some of the things that I do, we have a new partners page on my website and she can get you signed up to promote either the lead magnet or the webinar or my upcoming sales and systems bootcamp. So happy to uh, enjoy your summer and I'm happy to go on vacation tomorrow myself. And uh, so this is going to be it for just a little bit. But let me share three of the things that are on that checklist, just so you have. So number one is work on your web pages. I know it seems logical. I mean, you know, logical that you should work on your web pages, but I literally work on my web pages. I was just on it before this because I wanted to have these webinars 
linked on my events page, right? You should always be updating your events page with upcoming webinars and speaking gigs and things that you're doing. I mean, that's a no brainer. Then obviously the homepage too, we have an event section there. So like I'm constantly working on my webpage. My team puts blogs on my blog as well, maybe once or twice a week. Um, so every all the time we're working on our web pages or working on new web websites and stuff like that. New program pages, new thank you pages, new lead magnets all the time. This is such an important thing. Too many of you are relying on landing pages that aren't really producing because they nobody knows who you are because we can't look at the rest of your website when we're there. And it's just not as trustworthy. I don't recommend doing that. Um, some people do that. Some people recommend it all day long. And I think that's not a great way to build a business, especially if you're not a huge influencer already and people don't know you. Um, the second thing on the checklist is write your email follow-up templates. So I do tons of emails, right? I do weekly email newsletters. I also do promotional emails, um, but I have a specific follow-up system that I use from say live events when I go to an event and I, I have a stack here. No, I don't, I don't have a stack, but when I go to an event or have an exhibitor booth or I'm a speaker in person, I will have people fill out little forms um, all the time and then I'll get them data entered and then we'll upload them to the website or I'm sorry, the, the email system. And then we have certain templates that we send out. They just need little tweaks. If you create templates in your email system, it's so much faster. You don't have to recreate the wheel and that follow-up will get done because <laughs> I've been there, done that. I've been in business for 22 years and I've been there where it's like, I don't want to do my follow-up. But as soon as I went in, I remembered I had templates in there and oh my God, it only took me like five or 10 minutes to send all the follow-up out because I already had the templates. So take the time to build the templates, you guys, or let me help you build them so you have them and you don't have to worry about it, Okay. I do that with clients on our one-on-one -on -one calls. I'll talk through your web pages, your templates, your emails, all kinds of stuff. The third thing is record videos for the various pages on your website. So this video is actually not going on my website, but it's go it could go on a blog, I suppose, but it's going more out to social media to talk to people that I'm, uh, you know, that I'm connected with. And maybe I'll link it in an email too if my followers want to see it. But uh, this is... What I'm talking about is putting videos on various pages of your website. If you look at my webpage, my website, jumpstartyourbiznow.com or jumpstartpublishing.net, there's videos on various pages. The homepage has a video. The about page has a video. Most of the product program services have a video. A lot of the free things have a video. A lot of the webinar sign up pages have a, web, a video. I mean, the sign up for a free call page has a video. I'm telling you, when you put more video on your website, people will get to know, like, and trust you faster, and they'll be more likely to click and buy or click and sign up or get on your email list or, you know, get your free stuff. But if you don't have any video, how are they going to get to know, like, and trust you? They're, all they see is words and pictures. That's it. If you have pictures. A lot of times people don't even have pictures of themselves. How are we supposed to know who the heck's website this is? You have to be more in tune with people, more engaging, and every video is slightly different. It's not the same video, and it doesn't have to be high quality produ produced video either. It can be like you click, like what I'm doing here. I just turn on my Zoom and I start talking. I don't have a script. I'm just talking from the heart and telling you what I want to tell you today, and then I'll go away, right? I mean, that's not that hard. You can get produced videos if you'd like, but sometimes that slows down your progress. So progress is better than perfect. Put something up today. And then when you have the time or money, go enhance it and change it out or something. It doesn't matter. But I'm telling you, I've had so many clients say, oh, I can't believe that I got a client within a week of putting the video on the homepage of my website. You are so smart, Katrina. I know. That's why I put this checklist together. So go get the entrepreneur's productivity and profitability checklist. It's yours for free as a download. If you go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash productivity. I'll see you later. Have a great week.